Hi, this is a review of Never Let Me Go by Kazuo Ishiguro. Two things before I start this review. Number one, there's going to be a small amount of spoilers because in order to talk about this book, I need to give away a little bit of the plot. Personally, I think you will be fine if you haven't read the book yet, it's not a problem. But if you don't wanna know anything about this book, then obviously stop watching this video now. Number two, I actually watched the movie version before I read the book, so I will be discussing both of these things in this review. I'm gonna start out this review by reading you a quotation from The Times. This is a fine novel, fiction as moving and horrific as Margaret Atwood's The Hand Maid's Tale and John Wyndham's The Chrysalis. Slight misspelling there, but it's a nice continuation of the last review I did. Let's just get into the storyline first. This is the story of Kathy H. She is 31 and in this book she is telling the story of her youth. She spent her youth at a sort of British boarding school called Hillsham. The story is mainly about her and two of her friends called Tommy and Ruth. There's something special going on with these kids and this school because actually these kids don't have parents because they're all clones and they are raised to eventually donate their organs and die. It's hinted at quite early on and then somewhere in the beginning of the book you actually get the full explanation of what's going on. Of course there are always some surprises which you will discover at the end. First when I started reading I wasn't quite sure about the time frame of this book. I wasn't sure if this was set in the future or kind of in the past because they mention the 50s and the war. And then I noticed that I had skipped one of the first pages that says England late 1990s. I really, really enjoyed this novel and it was a combination of certain things that made it so enjoyable for me. Number one, there is the backstory, the setting and the idea of kids being raised to donate organs and all the kind of moral questions that that raises. And then there's the other side, which is just Kathy telling you about her childhood memories. And the characters that are in this are so lifelike. Maybe the kids are a bit more extreme in their behavior towards each other than I'm used to, but that could kind of be a personal difference. Also, you have to realize that these kids don't have parents. They're not just friends, but they're also kind of like family and brothers and sisters. Kathy talks about all these specific events that happened when they were between the age of eight and 16. She describes confrontations between her and Ruth and there are quite a lot of them. It was very sneaky and intense and just incredibly mean sometimes and Kathy now looks at it in a different way than she did before so sometimes she'll admit that maybe she was wrong. She talks a lot about the things that kids do when they're younger, how they kind of form secret groups. Another thing that I really liked about this book is the concept of art and the meaning it has to these kids. These kids are very stimulated to lots of drawing and painting and sometimes there's this lady who comes and takes the best art away. They get to buy each other's art and those are some of the only possessions they have so if people are very good at art they're popular. When they get a bit older they finally get to move out of Hailsham and go to the cottages where they just live in the British countryside and sometimes they get to interact with real life people and there there's very much a focus on trying to be normal. Ruth and Tommy are dating at that point and they're watching TV shows and watching the other couples that are there and they're imitating them to kind of see how to function as a normal human being. Never Let Me Go is one of those books where you can just feel that this is nostalgic and tragic. You just know it's gonna not end well. There are some things in this book that don't really make a lot of sense if you start to think about it. For example, the situation with the donations and the way that society reacts. It wasn't very convincing to me, but since that to me is not the most interesting part about this book, it didn't bother me that much. Two things that kind of annoyed me were the way that Kathy is constantly saying, oh yeah, I'll get back to that story. She just does that every chapter a couple of times and that got kind of repetitive. The final explanation scene felt very cliche where there's this person who is explaining how every everything came to be and how everything happened and the person's very distracted at the same time while the characters are trying to get their answer. I also wasn't very satisfied with the answer she got at the end. I think I would have preferred to not have that conversation in the book. I would have liked to have a bit more of an open ending, I guess. So I said earlier that I watched the movie before I read the book. I watched the movie quite a while ago, but I did remember most of the plot points, specifically the outcome at the end. That was the only thing I kind of regret. If I hadn't seen the final 20 minutes of the movie I would have been fine but I think for this one it's probably better to read the book first. I rewatched the movie after reading the book and I think the movie is excellent. It stars Carey Mulligan, Andrew Garfield and Keira Knightley. The whole atmosphere, the music, the cinematography is all 
excellent conclusion. Never let me go. Had a couple of things that I wasn't very pleased with, but the rest of it was fantastic, so I can definitely recommend this. In the comments, you can let me know if you've read Never Let Me Go and what you thought about it. I will talk to you guys later. Bye!